How's it going YouTube? It's uh, Root Junkie here. Got another video for you on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Jasmine ROM, which I've heard a lot about. A lot of guys have told me it's really cool. I got to check it out. Finally went ahead and installed it on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 right here. So we're going to show you guys how to install this, a um, couple tweaks with it, and give you kind of an overview of the ROM. So let's do it. Alright, to install Jasmine ROM on your Note 3, it's pretty simple. Um, you're going to have to go ahead and download the ROM to your device. And I'll show you where mine's downloaded right now. Right there is my Jasmine ROM. This is version 2.4.1. You know, if there's a newer version, obviously download the newer version. And you're going to have to have root access, which I actually got with Towel Root. And then your, which is right there, and then you're gonna have to install Safe Strap as well, which is right there. So that's pretty much the prerequisites to install it. Um, get everything downloaded. I'll give you links in the video description to everything. We're just gonna go once you have it all set up. If you do not have root access, if you don't have Safe Strap working, check out my video playlist for the Note 3. It covers everything. So I'm gonna reboot into recovery, and we're gonna flash Jasmine ROM. Okay, here we go. Um, before you do anything, um, this is going to flash things to stock ROM slot, so um, you're going to lose everything, you're going to wipe data, you're going to totally lose all your applications, you're going to have to reset up to do this. Um, you could do it without wiping, but you'll most likely have force closes and problems with the ROM. Also a note, you, want it, you have to have a computer handy because you're going to have to flash something in Odin in download mode um, to your device after you flash the ROM. So, that being said, also you want to be on NC4 or NC2 KitKat version uh, build number on your device before you do this as well. Okay, we've covered those prerequisites. First thing you're probably going to want to do is come in here and create an Android backup. I'm going to skip this step because I can always just restore the firmware if I have an issue. I don't mind. Um, so I'm skipping that, but I would recommend highly to do that. You're going to go to Wipes. You're going to go to Advanced, and you're going to select Delvic data cache system make sure you do not select micro SD card otherwise you'll wipe that out on your device and you don't want to do that so swipe across to wipe and this gives your device a clean slate for flashing this ROM go back back again and then we're going to go to installs and scroll to downloads for me that's where I have my ROM there's the ROM select it swipe across and you're going to flash Jasmine ROM to your Note 3 very simple, very easy to do. We're gonna let this flash and finish the process. Just wanna point out really quickly right here, you can see that again there's the firmware NC4 is what this is based on. At least that's what this version of Jasmine ROM is based on. So that is the firmware you're gonna to wanna to be on or NC2, either one really would work. Um, see it says actually NC4 slash two. So you wanna be on that firmware before you flash this ROM. Now if it's updated and it becomes a newer version, it may be a little bit different, but right now you want to be on NC2 or NC4. Alright, there we go. Uh, install is complete. Now, before you go ahead and you run this, we have to flash something to your device. So we're going to go to Home, we're going to go to Reboot, and we're going to go to Download. This is going to put your device in download mode. Let's go ahead and shoot to my computer. Let me show you how to flash this unified kernel, or firmware I should say, and we'll get this thing fully installed. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take this and plug in our cable to our device and into our computer. Um, it should install the drivers automatically. If you don't, I will give you links to the uh, drivers for this device, so no big deal. Uh, all right, so basically, this is the unified KitKat retail edition um, unified firmware. So that's what we need to flash in this Odin download mode. To do that you're going to need well the Samsung drivers if they don't automatically install and you're going to need Odin. Um, you can get Odin, I can give you links to everything, don't worry about that. Uh, this is Odin one, I, an Odin I have so I'm going to go ahead and launch the Odin program. And a couple things I guess I want to point out to you is right here. Is it says COM and a number, this says 30 doesn't matter what the number is, it just should say COM, and it should say added down here. 
that says that your device is seen by your computer and Odin sees it and you can now flash things. It proves your drivers are installed correctly as well. Then you're gonna go to AP and you gotta go find where your unified firmware is. KitKat firmware. So mine should be in Note 3 and I think it's in Jasmine and it's actually not here because I need to extract it. So to extract it, go back really quick and I'll go ahead and extract this. Okay. Close that out. Open Odin back up. And actually, it's right there. Just appeared. All right. And then hit open. And what this is going to do is go ahead and check everything. Make sure it's all good. And you'll be able to flash the device. So go ahead and hit start. And if everything goes correctly, it should flash everything over. And you should have... Jasmine Ron fully installed. So let's just give it a quick second. Now the cool thing about the Unified Kernel is it gives you the benefits of NC2, which is uh, C Linux permissive, and all the features of NC4. That's why it's uniform, unified, and that's why you flash them like this. So there you go, that's gonna be it. Let's let this thing boot up. You can close the computer program. All this stuff is done and it should be rocking and rolling. So here you go guys, this is the first boot up. It looks like it does have the new Android Wear um, boot animation, Android Hello Jasmine. Very cool, I like the boot animation. Uh, I'm excited for this thing to boot up. As soon as it does, I'm gonna walk you through the ROM, give you a little feel for it, and uh, see what's new and exciting in Jasmine ROM. So we're gonna go to English. It tells me to put my SIM card in. I don't have a SIM card in this device right now, but uh, it is recommending putting in a SIM card. No big deal. Should all work fine. I'm just going to use with Wi-Fi for right now. Just kind of skip through all this stuff really quick. There we go. And just skip through all this just so I can show you guys the ROM. Next, next, next. And it should be uh, wrapped up. There we go. Skip it, skippity scap. Shabam! There it is. There's Jasmine Ram. Very nice. Very nice. It does have a extremely colorful, uh, well, clear. It's clear navigation bar up there, but um, uh, the, when it's like this, it looks really purple. Uh, looks like we have my magazine application here to the side. Don't really want to launch that right now. A uh, bunch of clear widgets. Kind of cool. So basic. Nothing too exciting there. You can see you have a battery percentage up there, a little uh, icon for the battery, which is nice. And some other stuff along here, let's see what we have. So, SU binaries need to be updated. It does tell you that right from the get-go. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Continue. Normal. You can let that run in the background while they're updating. Looks like you do have the new Play Store, which is nice. Let's go ahead and check out the applications. So, three-minute battery settings. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what this is. Some information. Disable the them one hour to help support mods. So here you can just pick whatever battery you like. Here if you want to go there. Ooh, that's cool. So very easily change your battery settings very simply on the top. Very nice little uh, app in here. It's very cool. Galaxy apps are there. Pull up from Jake. I'm sorry, from fake jab. It's interesting. I think you launch things when you swipe up. That's how that works. Um, app settings, it looks like that is some exposed stuff right there. No app settings is from exposed. Add is away. Here's super user again. So, um, it did update the binary, so that looks good. Let's see what else we have in here. Viper for audio. Greenify. Don't, different little things. M, MW app manager. Pen window manager, root cloak. Oh, okay, so this is really cool. Root cloak um, allows you to run applications that check for root and won't let you run them if they have root access. But with root cloak, you put it on there and it doesn't let them see that you have root on your device. So that's really nice for email clients and things like that. Um, Expose installer, tighten backups. There's a bunch of exposed stuff in here, which is really nice. I definitely like that. Some different uh, Samsung stuff, tools some Verizon stuff if you want to have them in here. 
So pretty basic. Um, let's see what we have in here for widgets. Standard. Yeah, standard widgets for the most part. There is a whole bunch of exposed modules. I think that's probably the, one of the coolest things about this ROM is all those exposed modules. Uh, I do think this is themed like the S5. There's a lot of widgets in here, so that's very cool. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yes, it is. So there you go. So we have boost mode. Very nice for downloads. That uses your Wi-Fi and your cell signal to download big files so they download faster. That's really cool. Nice toggle there for it. Flashlight right there for turning on your LEDs for the flashlight mode. Let's go see what else they have in here. Anything else unique and new? Um, pretty much standard. Those are probably the newest. The download mode is really nice. The download boost. Very, very cool. Um, so, very nice. Let's check out settings really quick. Um, keep going. Toolbox. Notification panel. Same old, same old. We'll just see if there's anything different in here. Creation. Exposed framework. So right there you can see that's the exposed framework actually kind of built into your settings. Exposed framework is amazing. You can do almost anything with it. It really is amazing. So it's cool that's built into this. Power savings. Different different things. Developer options already turn on. Again, you're going to see NC4 right there. C Linux permissive instead of enforcing. That has to do with that unified kernel and uh, some information about the developer um, and ROM version, all that kind of good stuff. So there you go guys, uh, really what's going to be fun with this kind of a ROM is exposed. Honestly that's probably the nicest feature in here is all the exposed stuff already installed, set up, ready for you to do all your little customizing and tweaking along with some toggles that are really sweet as well. There you go, that's going to be my review here of Jasmine ROM, how to install it, how to set it up, a little overview. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more videos on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Like this one, I'll try to keep going on because I do love this device. This is one of my favorite devices right here. Also stay tuned for more Nexus coverage. We're going to have a bunch of those devices coming in hand and we'll be doing all kinds of reviews and videos on them as well. About it for me today and we'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie out. Yeah.